In this clip, we're going to take a look at how to use the Reaction Manager to create the opening and closing of our thrusters. All right, so in the last lesson, we had talked about wiring up all of our parameters to these control objects, and we created the custom attributes to flex those wings. And now we want to do the same sort of thing with these thrusters. We want those to open and close. And now we're dealing with a little bit of a different situation. We have multiple objects that we want to control with a single parameter. Now wiring parameters works really well for that because we can do a one-to-one. -one. Remember the connecting from the left side to the right side. But with this, it's a little bit different. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the Reaction Manager. The Reaction Manager can give us the same kind of functionality, but it gives us the flexibility to create one master and then however many slaves that we need. Now I'm using that term because that's being used by the Reaction Manager itself. So let's go ahead and select our custom object, our control object, and go up to Animation. And then we're going to go to Reaction Manager. Now with this, what we need to do first is we need to select the master. In this case, it's going to be the thrusters parameter. So what we'll do is we will add a master, and then we'll pick that object, because we need to choose the actual parameter that we want to use. So in this case, we're going to use modified object, attribute holder, custom attribute, and then thrusters open close. So now that is the master object. Now, we need to create slaves in this. And here we have the slaves, and we need to add the selected objects for that. So in this case, let's go ahead and select our group, and we need to ungroup, or not ungroup, but open those groups. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open recursively, so that way it opens all of the groups in our ship. And then we can come in and select these individual pieces. So I'm going to select that, and it will open it in the Scene Explorer. So let's select Thrust Ring 01, scroll down all the way to the bottom, hold Shift, and select 024, and that will select everything in between. Let's go ahead and add Selected as Slaves, and then we want to transform these objects, but we want to rotate them. We set up their pivot points before, and now we're going to use the rotation of that. We're going to use the zero Euler rotation on that, and let's use, I believe it's X, yes, so let's use the X rotation on that. So now that we have this all set up, we now have what's called a state. Now a state is basically what the value is of that parameter, the thrust open, and right now it's at set at zero, and then we've set the default state of the rotations of the objects. So now all we need to do is we need to create the open state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into create mode, and with that activated I can come in and select my uh, object here and change this to 100. Okay, so once that is set to 100, I can come in and select all of these pieces again, and let me make sure I get all of those. Okay, whoops. And let's get all of them. There we go. Now with all of them selected, I want to change their rotation. So I'm going to rotate it along the x-axis, and I want it to open up a little bit more, or perhaps we want it to focus in and close on that. So do something like this. And I think that that would be good, just to have it open the way that it was and then close it. Okay, so we have that rotated down. We've got it into that position, and now all we need to do is create the state. So once we do that, you'll notice that we get another state in here. So we now we have state 2, where it's the X rotation, and now it's setting that rotation to negative 15 and then our parameter that we had, the thruster, is at 100. So it's kind of like keyframing a little bit. Now we haven't talked about animation yet, but this is just the Reaction Manager. Now we need to test this out. Go ahead and turn off Creation Mode. Let's close this down, 
And then we're going to go to our control object. And here we have our thrusters open close. And now watch this. As I adjust this parameter, you'll see that that will close, tighten up, and then open up. Perfect. So now we've learned a little bit about reaction managers and how that can be used in a way to wire parameters, but to wire multiple objects together. So now that we have all of that, let's go ahead and clean up our rig. Let's hit control, page down, go to group, and then close. So now we have everything ready to go. We can come in and we can start rotating our ship. Everything looks great. All right, really, really good. So now let's select all of those pieces again. Let's select these. Don't forget the rudder control. Alt right click and then freeze transform. Okay, so everything is now cleaned. Everything's ready to go. And then let's go ahead and freeze everything, like our groups and all of that. So what we could do is we could take, let's say, these bones. We could hide them. Let's go ahead and select the control main, hit control page down. It's just going to be easier to deselect the controls. And then with everything else, all we have to do is go ahead and right-click, free selection. And so now you don't have to worry about accidentally grabbing that. And even the animator doesn't have to worry about it. And then all they have to worry about are the controls. And everything still moves, rotates as it should. And the parameters still work. Perfect. So now everything is cleaned up, and we are now ready for animation. And so let's go ahead and move on into our next module and start talking about the basics of animation.